What's up, Steven? This is uh, Will Guillory with The Athletic. Uh, last year, you averaged a career high in assists. How, how much, uh, you know, doing more stuff as far as dribble handoffs, you know, hitting guys on backdoor? Because how much did you enjoy showing that part of your game? And how much do you think you'll be able to do that here in New Orleans? Oh, well, it's good. Um, to be honest, they just made shots, mate. That's usually, the, usually a two, two man game, that one, <laughs> for that stat. No, it was good, bro. It was just a bit different. Um, you'll see a bit more of the league now is trending more towards uh, more handoff type stuff, right? High bigs and like the action up by the elbows and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's yeah, it's like a it's like a natural, you know, growth if that makes sense because of the environment. So, yeah. Hey, Stephen. This is uh, Christian Clark with Nall.com. Um, what have these first two practices been like with Stan? And is there any sense of kind of what your role is defensively? You know, what kind of Stan expects from you on that end early on? Um, well, transition is the main thing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's standard, like it's par for the NBA. But in case of you, <laughs> for some who don't know, it's basically like your transition is like the biggest emphasis, right? And then from there, it's how you guard the pick and roll and then just um, kind of how you defend one-on-one. -on -one. That's basically the setup. Um, and, yeah, everyone has to do their part, you know what I mean? And, again, this is a tough game, man. It's just, in a nutshell, it is simple, but it's very, very difficult, right, the execution of it. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes, man. Hey, uh, Stephen Jeff Duncan at The Athletic um, – I'm curious to know your experience in OKC. Yeah, they're pretty legendary for the culture there that, that has been established over the years of being a, a positive culture. I'm curious, how would you define it? And, and, and is that something that can actually translate to wins and losses, the, the culture in a locker room and on a basketball team? It's a weird, it's a tough question. Uh, short answer, I don't know, is the short answer. It's, it's just a weird one, mate, because uh, it, it could be one of those things. It, the chemistry part of the whole joint is like how you operate on the floor. It ain't so much off the court, if that makes sense, because you could be really cool and friendly with someone, but like you just don't click together on the court and vice versa, right? You just really don't like a dude off the court, but you click really well on the court, right? It, it goes both ways. So um, in terms of, like, that whole culture thing, oh, this ain't even talking about, like, the thumb. I'm just talking about, like, in general, right? Mm -hmm. These are just rules of thumb, I think. Right. Should, people should be aware of. Um, so if, if you're going by that, with the whole uh, winning culture, it's it's – better if you push about push the chemistry on the court right and then obviously if you want to like it's it's not like you're just shutting down like if, if the boys want to go have dinner together then thumbs up mate <laughs> go go hang out like it's all good stuff like that's all great and then all that allows is just for you it's just more time uh for you to talk about what's on the court and what do you see and kind of get some people's ideas on different things um basically you're trying to break the ice as soon as possible so you don't have an awkward moment and on the court where you don't feel like you could talk to your teammate in a nutshell. Um, by the way, these are my rules. <laughs> They're not for everyone. All right. <laughs> I just make them up. <laughs> so. I want to, if I could follow up real quick though, you, you've always had a kind of a defined role. I mean, you do a lot of the dirty work. Uh, you know, there, how much, how important is it? To under for players, everyone, not just yourself, but everyone to understand their roles and under, understand also there might be quote unquote stars on the team uh, that are going to have their role. And then there's glue guys and everyone has a defined role to leading to team success. So, you, sorry. So the question is, you're just asking uh, how important your role is and to just do the role, do your part the best to your ability. Is that and, Well, also understanding that there might be stars that are going to have larger, higher profile roles 
and everyone understanding fitting in around those stars if you are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see what you're um, Yeah, I mean, defining your role is very, very important for one. If, if it's not really clear uh, from the start, that's when you kind of get into this weird area. Now, I'm not saying like, it's not like a perfect like black and white. It's never that. Basketball is never that. There's always like these gray areas, right, where um, the structure, which is like your, your rules, right, that the coach puts in, you're allowed to play within this box, right? But then when you kind of push the boundaries a bit, obviously it's like a bit of like a case by case, right? But as long as you do the what your what the coach asks, because I mean he's running the show, right? This is all his theory and whatnot. As long as you're just doing that, mate, I mean it's fine. And and that is the most important thing about just playing for your teammate and all that is and as long as you get wins, okay. <laughs> we have to win. That that needs to be the outcome. Um so I mean, yeah. Whatever you could do, mate. It's much better if uh, the team wins rather than individuals, right? Just because, I mean, yeah, I don't need to explain that, mate. You're not just a hat rack, mate. Figure that one out. Um, Stephen, my name is Fletcher from NBC in New Orleans. I have somewhat of a non-basketball question, so bear with me. Um, I think that we've all read a lot about your appetite and eating habits. Um, I know it's a crazy time with COVID and everything, but New Orleans is kind of a famous food city. Have you had a chance to order or go out or experience any interesting thing from a culinary standpoint since you arrived or just all basketball so far? Uh, all basketball, but I, I do have to eat. So I've been, um, you know, been dabbling, you know what I mean, here and there. Uh, it's just different though. Take Takeouts is kind of gross, eh? It just like it's not, it's not the same. So I need to wait until everything's up with it and then I'll go to restaurants give it a proper crack um yeah but it, so far they taste really great the food that i've had in terms of uh takeaway as much as whatever that means hey steven this is shamit from bourbon street shots uh in your introductory press conference you mentioned stan Van gundy as an old school coach and you've had two practices with him now any first impressions yeah um what I meant by old school is that he's been around <laughs> for a long time. I don't, I'm not sure if it's like a, he's an old school kind of coach or anything. It's just that he's been around the game for a long time. Um, but no, it's, he's a good dude, man. Pretty straight up. Uh, got a powerful voice. You know, he's, you know, he's about yay high. I don't know if you can see my hand, about yay high. <laughs> I mean, he's not very big, but bloody powerful dude, man. <laughs> like he tells you off. Yeah, so, um, no, good dude, man. Good coach. Still early days yet. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Stephen. Cheers.